Good morning. It's time for 11s. I don't know what you've been up to today. Uh, we've had a lot of people running backwards and forwards in front of the vicarage. Well, not just in front of the vicarage. They do run up the road and down. Some people are really good at running and they love it. I'm not one of those runners. But there is something about the journey of life. It takes time. If you have children, you have to wait nine months for them. And then they grow up and they're yours forever. When you plant a seed, it takes time to germinate and then to sprout and then to grow and to bear fruit. There's not much in the Bible about people actually racing. Although around the Easter story, there's quite a lot of running about. Peter and John run to the tomb. And in the afternoon, there are a couple of folk who walk to Emmaus, encounter a third person, and then when that third person has broken bread and surprised them, they run all the way back to Jerusalem full of good news. In the letter to the Hebrews, we read this. Therefore, since we're surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. At the moment, we're in a bit of a race, but it's not a sprint. It's more like a marathon. So keep going. I hope you haven't hit the wall just yet. But life takes time, and that's all right. Let's run the race that's set before us. God bless you, and enjoy Levenses. Bye.